Welcome back to another episode of the Penalty Box with your host, Kalal Oakman. On tonight's show, we have some late-breaking news. we got a couple interviews and a couple player locker rooms. And we have an in-studio guest from the Soviet, excuse me, former Soviet national team defenseman, Sergei Gunchenkov, joins us in studio tonight on the Penalty Box. But before we get to that, we have some interesting news. Ladies and gentlemen, fans of hockey everywhere, and the VHL. I'm pleased to announce that the Penalty Box has been picked up for a full season. That's right, the hit show, The Penalty Box, which you are watching right now, has been picked up for a full season. Hence the suit. Looking snazzy, isn't it? More on that and our interviews coming up after this quick break. Welcome back to The Penalty Box. Before I get to the next segment, there's some things I want to go over Stop, right The now. division leaders in the whole league. I'm not going to give every single team and every single stat. I'm just going to give you a summary you know, of what's going on in the VHL. And we'll start it off in the East. In the Eastern Atlantic Division, you have the New Jersey Devils off to a fantastic start, 4-0. Followed closely by the Pittsburgh Penguins at 3-1. The New York Islanders with a couple late-breaking games, both in overtime last night. One against Toronto and one against the Flames, which we brought to you live on the Pelly Box last night. They're at 2 and 1. In the Northeast Division, as I'm talking about Toronto, you have the Boston Bruins at 4 0, and then you have the Montreal Canadiens, Le Quebec, 2 and 2, and then the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres both clawing it up at 1 and 3. In the Southeast Division, they have the Washington Capitals and the Tampa Bay Lightning are duking it out for number 1. Both are tied at 3 and 1. And then you also have the Thrashers. Don't forget about them. They're also 3-1. The Thrashers. Can you believe it? Now in the West. TBU, the tiny and defending champs. Well, they pretty much picked up where they left off. They're 4-0. Followed closely behind by the St. Louis Blues at 3-1. Nashville Predators are on their tails at 2-1-1. In the Northwest Division, you have the Minnesota Wild off to a fantastic start. 3-0-1. Then you have the Colorado Avalanche at 2-2, two and two, and then it drops off from there. Edmonton, Calgary, both 1-1, one and, one, and Vancouver. We'll get to Vancouver in a minute. And then finally in the Pacific Division, you have the Anaheim Ducks at 4-0, the Phoenix Coyotes at 4-0, and the Dallas Stars with McKinnis 91 and Brain 7 at 3-1. They lost a heartbreaker to the Boston Bruins last night. And then you have Los Angeles and San Jose picking up the rear. That concludes our Around the League in approximately 90 seconds. Be right back after this short break. Vancouver fans say, no offense, your place sucks. This and more. What what the? Get the gun out of my face! Welcome back. And now time for the Two Minute Minor. And the Two Minute Minor consists of this. Vancouver. The Canucks. All right? The Canucks right now are 0-4, and and frankly, fans in Vancouver are getting a little offensive about their team's lack of offense. Vancouver goaltenders are on the defensive as they try to defend their play to their critics, as the defense is on the offensive trying to explain that they are as defensive as possible. And frankly, the offense is as offensive as can be, uh, except their lack of offense, which they have none. And the organization should be offended, for fans are on the offensive, saying they are offended of the fact that their team has lack of offense, and the offense is not producing, which they find offensive. Now, if you could figure that all out, you'd be amazing. But let me, to paraphrase a good football coach, I shouldn't say good, I should say a football coach, the, the sheriff. If you know who the sheriff is, believe me. And I'm going to paraphrase this. 90% of the teams that score more than their opponents win 100% of the time. Bottom line, Vancouver, start scoring goals. You can't win unless you light the lamp in the other end. Your defense and goaltender can only do so much. You, as offensive players, have to start putting the puck back in the net. Crash the net. Cycle the puck. Throw everything on net. Go for an odd bounce. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be a highlight reel to hear on the penalty box or frozen moments in time and other you know episodes on the VHL network. It just has to turn on the red light. So, you see this little disc thing? Put it in the back of the net, Vancouver. Give your goalies a break. huh? Start lighting the lamp. And that's the two-minute minor. Two Minute Minor, brought to you in part by Cherry Bombs. Have one tonight, Cherry Bombs. 
Welcome back. And now a snippet, actually a clip, of our interview with Darth Forsberg, defenseman for the Toronto Maple Leafs, last night after the Thriller double overtime victory over the Islanders. Enjoy. Now live in Toronto after the Islanders game, Darth Forsberg. Darth, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Darth, what do you think about your tra your return back to Toronto and tonight's game against the Islanders? What is your thoughts on that game? Well, well, those Islanders, they're pretty good. Game went, well, as you know, the game went in double overtime, and frankly, uh, it's one of the best games of my career. I'd have to say it's right up there with the Chicago game with Plymy or the, the uh, big series with uh, the Buffalo Sabres back in beta season one, but... Uh, Wow, I'm just glad to be back on the ice and make my home debut with the, the Maple Leafs fans. I, I believe it was sold out. I, I really couldn't tell. I was trying to pay attention to the guys on the ice. and uh, Well, it was good to get out there and hit some guys again, to tell you the truth. But I tell you, if every game goes to double overtime like that, I don't know if I'll be able to take it. <laughs> oh. But thanks for having me. And uh, you know, remember, Leafs fans, we're back. We are back. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for having me. Well, well there you have it, folks. An exhausted Darth Forsberg after a triumphant victory over the Islanders that went into double overtime. And we'll be back after this short break. Welcome back. I'm pleased to be joined here in studio with former Soviet military national team defenseman Sergei Gunchenkov. Sergey, welcome to the show. Yeah, Gunchenko. Welcome to the penalty box, Sergey. Danka. The penalty box is one of the greatest shows in all of Mother Russia. We like it. It is very no, I'm nice. I'm glad you like it. Very I'm nice. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. So, you, yeah. you watch a lot. You play defense. I played defense for Soviet national team. I was goon. I was almost as good as tiny. Were you really? Nah, I was better. <laughs> better. Guys try to come in zone with the puck. They try right. skate in. They do dig. They do flashy stuff. Right. And we're like, no, yeah. no, no. You cannot score on our net. Right. We hit you. And I hit you him. Hit I hit you, him you hard. Hit, you yeah. hit them hard. Mm. Excellent. What teams do you like in the BHL? I like BHL very nice. I think there are very good teams in BHL. I like... Uh, I like team in West, or West team good, uh, TBU Tiny and uh, Wings of Red Detroit, they're good, yeah. I you also like, like Red Stars Red. of Dallas, McKinnis like 91, Stars. he's so flashy, he's so good, he's very nice. I mean, I saw him <laughs> score a goal against Boston, wow, wow, wee, wow, wow, it was a it hell was... of a goal. Yes, it was. But my it? favorite player, he is goon yeah. like me, he plays Who's in that? Toronto, he's a Leafs of Maple, his name really? is Forsberg. The guy really? is good hitter. I like him. I like him very much. You he like good. Forsberg, huh? I like Puck. May I keep Puck? No, you can't keep I have puck. BHL That's Puck such... in my pocket now. I go. No, thank you for no. having me. BHL well, thank you for good. On the show. Pally Box good. I watch everything wow. on internet. Yeah. Wonderful. In studio interview sponsored by Kazakhstani Gypsies. Thank you, Sergey. And that's all we have tonight. On the penalty box. Tune in for your next episode when we'll try to get a couple more interviews. And we're still working on that tiny interview. We're still having problems con contacting Where's the uh, door? I cannot find door. I, I go now. Good night, folks. And remember, I can't find my puck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at Center Ice. Hey, Sergey, give my puck back, you stupid This is my dude. puck. Go away. <laughs> Mine. My puck. My puck.